Hot ones and Shake Shack are collabing for a spicy burger and fries. <coughs> oh shit. Let's see if it's hot. First up the fries. This cheese sauce is really creamy. Daddy. It's not spicy at all. I think I'm supposed to dip it in the sauce. Ooh. <coughs> this is a little spicier and it's really good. <coughs> they should really serve this all the time. <coughs> oh my god. Then we have the burger. Oh. Again, not spicy, but it's so good. Mmm. And then they give you this last dab sauce. This is supposed to be very spicy. Let's take a little hit first. That's a little hot. Oh, nice heat in the back of the throat. No pause, I like it. The flavor is fantastic. Mm. This sauce is a little hot, but you can handle it. Altogether, this tasted very good. I would give it an 8.3 out of 10. Apparently Popeyes changed the chicken sandwich recipe. I have a guess. You've had the Popeyes chicken sandwich before, right? No. Never? always empty package i heard a little rumor that they changed the recipe it looks the same it looks so bad huh? <laughs> cheers cheers my chicken actually looks like chicken again do you like it i like it but you can make one better yeah mm. do you like the bun it's okay <laughs> you don't like the bun the bun's so good soft and buttery and beautiful the bun is good <laughs> the bun is good the bun is good this has to be the most mayo-y fucking coleslaw. <laughs> I don't even see the cabbage anymore. This is what it looks like with the slaw. You're not impressed by anything, are you? Come on. <laughs> Dude, why do you look so sad? <laughs> this is your rate. I would say it's just as good as before. I would give it a 7.3 out of 10. Why? What would you rate it? 3. 3 out of 10? Yeah. Oh, you think you can make a better one? This guy just dropped it. Show you. Dude, right now. First time trying Korean raw marinated crab. Wow. You don't know how many times I've saw this on my For You page and I've been dying to try it. Just look at the crab in there. Coated with the spicy sauce. First, I just want a chunk of this crab. Bro, crab on the inside of this is like butter. Right off the bat, this is one of the best crab dishes I've ever had. The sauce is a little spicy. It's also pretty sweet. Just look at this. Look at that lump of crab meat right there. The crazy thing is, through all the spice, you still taste the crab. I saw people crack this into the rice. Oh my god. Some extra sauce on the bottom. Just look at that. Mm. This was incredibly hyped up and far exceeded the hype. As one of the best new things I've had in 2023, I would give this a 9.4 out of 10. I got it from a place called Crab House in Koreatown. Go check them out. Another very common comment, mix the mayo and ketchup. Oh, that's fantastic. You got the riches from the mayo and then the tang and acid from the ketchup. This is my third time eating this this week. No shame. Chili relleno. Spicy, cheesy. A chili relleno also has to be piping hot or it's not right you need it to burn your mouth a little bit i move grab some rice put it in the sauce maybe a little bit of refried beans look at that oh my god this just travels down your throat beautifully huh little tortilla pick this up in a bite so good I'm giving this an 8.4 out of 10 absolutely delicious go check out gordo's tacos you guys all told me to come to levain so i'm here this is the chocolate chip walnut cookie it's very very rich i do like the amount of chocolate in it it's just a little bland together though it's still a pretty stand-up cookie 8.1 out of 10 Number one new thing I tried last year were El Salvadorian pupusas. The typical setup, sketchy bag of salsa, and this beautiful cabbage. Beans, cheese, and pork. Get some of that cabbage. Daddy, chill. Hey, yo! The filling itself is so good, packed with pork. The ratio of dough to filling is perfect. Oh my god. I gave my last pupusa experience a 9.4. I would give this a 9.2. Oh my god. First time trying Romanian food. The owner of this place is from Transylvania, which is on the border of Hungary and Romania. So there's influences from both. Got this like flatbread with feta dip. Oh my god, the flavor. The amount of dill in this. Uh. Next up, this is like a polenta dumpling. Looks more like a croquette. Oh, it bursted with cream. 
It kind of tastes like a cheesy mashed potato and red pepper croquette. Yo, that is so good. Lastly, some chicken paprikash. Yo, it's not like crazy flavorful, but it's super comforting and the polenta adds such a nice textural component. All around, I would give this an 8.6 out of 10. I would absolutely come back. I need help. I've been craving healthier food lately, but don't really know where to go. So if you have any recommendations, let me know and I'll go review it. Eventually, I want to make a list of the top five or top 10 healthy foods that actually taste good. 150 bucks for this box of cookies. Whoa. This is some of the nicest packaging I've ever seen. There's 12 cookies. They recommend heating the chocolate flavors, so let me go do that. All right, I just heated this up. You can see the warm chocolate, the flaky salt. Let's open this bad boy up. Daddy, chill. See the amount of chocolate in that? Moist on the inside, slight crisp on the outside. This is one of the best chocolate chip cookies I've ever had. All the flavors have cool names too. This one's Netflix and Crunch, Cinnamon Toast Crunch Cookie. This one's the Donkey Kong, Banana Cream Pie. It looks like they have a lot of fun with this. Oh my God, look at the bottom of that. If you've been following me for a while, you know I'm not the biggest sweets person, but wow, this is both beautiful and delicious. Taste-wise, I would give this entire experience a 9.1 out of 10. Creativity-wise, I'd give it a 9.7. I'm at Chick-fil-A. We're doing this hack. Sandwich, mac and cheese, little buffalo sauce. Cheers. The sandwich is good. Their mac and cheese, pretty weak. 7.6 out of 10. This is one of the best birria dishes in LA. The birria quesadilla from Via Lobos. Look at how much meat they pack that with. Pause. Stop it. I'm putting a little consomme. Mm. A quesadilla is the safest thing to get at a truck, unless the truck just sucks. A little bit of that spicy salsa roja. Oh my God. I am very, very sneaky, sir. Oh, it's spicy. Mm. The fact that it's a little crispy is what makes it. Throw it in that consomme. Ah! Seriously, one of the better bites of birria in LA. 8.8 .8 out of 10. One of my most requested suggestions, try Greek food. Everybody says Papa Christos in LA is the best Greek food here. First up, we got Usaka, traditional Greek eggplant casserole with ground beef. Oh, look at that. The beef's very well seasoned. Got like whole onions in it. There's something really sweet in this that I don't love. Next up, we got spanakopita. I probably butchered that. It's like a spinach and cheese puff pastry. This is amazing. Look at how delicate the pastry is and the filling. Lastly, we got a lamb gyro. Threw some tzatziki on there. Bro, that is amazing. The bread is Perfect. The meat has a ton of garlic in it. And it's a little crispy. Compared to the euros that I've had in the past, this is like a 9.4 out of 10. Spanakopita and the euro, two best things that I had. I would give this 9.1 out of 10. Outstanding. Mm. But do you think there's been any type of communication with me? Any type of cut? Any type of, you know... No. And it goes back to exactly what you said in your first video about Quiznos. They lost the marketing game to Subway. Let that sink in. Do you know where the main spokesperson of Subway from 2000 to 2015 is now? They lost to that. And Quiznos, now you guys have a golden opportunity. It literally just fell in your lap from the fucking heavens. A young female black creator, arguably a group of people that are crushing it the most on social media right now, tells everybody that your sub is actually probably the best sub you could get. And your first thought is to market that sub without even reaching out to this person? This is what you should do. You should reach out to Zoe, the person who made me crave a Quiznos sub for the first time in over a decade. And ideally, if you can afford it, reach out to Keekly as well. Tell them both, hey, we'd really like to work with you guys. Why don't we set something up so that we can campaign together and have everybody see what you guys saw in our sandwich. Come on, Quiznos, get it together. You guys are literally right there. Birria Los Toros. I'm so excited for this. Dip it in some consomme. When it's dripping, you know it's ready to eat. Pause. Flavor-wise, it's not the best beer I've ever had, but it's not bad. I feel like the beef they use is a little lean. Let me try a queso taco. This is probably going to be a lot better. Mmm. If you come here, definitely get a queso taco. It's a lot better. It's good, but I don't know if I'd come back. I'm giving these a 7.1 out of 10. I wasn't aware Jersey Mike's and Subway was even a debate, but it makes total sense. 
Allow me to weigh in. Jersey Mike's, far superior to Subway. You take any cold cut sandwich at Jersey Mike's, put it up against any combination at Subway that you wanna make, Jersey Mike's comes out ahead of that nine times out of 10. Oh, but Kev, the steak and cheese from Subway is so bomb. Have you had the Chipotle Philly cheesesteak at Jersey Mike's? It's not even a question, but it's like a thousand times better. But Kev, the options for bread at Subway, so much better than Jersey Mike's. Subway has two decent breads, the Italian herbs and cheese and the cheddar jalapeno. Jersey Mike's doesn't need all the floof on the bread to make a good sandwich. At the end of the day, this is just my opinion, but I'm not seeing much of an argument in favor of Subway aside from the price. Dino's chicken is coming out with chicken tenders. Get a nice plump one well it's hot the actual chicken super juicy the sauce has a good amount of vinegar in it a lot of herbs a lot of chilies if you've ever been here they drench the chicken in the sauce and it kind of just drops down on the fries underneath if you're persian think nunechab i would give this a 9.1 out of 10 it's so good mm. Trying Arby's new Wagyu burger. Is this a potato bun? Arby's off to a good start. This is what she looks like. No. It's not dog shit, but it's not good. Try it with some horsey sauce. Oh, it's so creamy, daddy. This shit is so good. It's got a little wild. Mozzie stick. Just nutted. Inside the burger. I feel like a Wagyu beef burger never really made sense to me. I feel like the main point of a Wagyu steak is the marbling of fat in its steak form. When you ground it, you can just manually add more fat. So I always thought it was kind of a gimmick. Overall, this is like a 5.1. It's okay. 